direct call from yeah. an inmate at the Philadelphia Department of Prisons. To accept this call, press 5 to refuse it. The use of three-way or call waiting will disconnect the call. This call will be recorded and monitored. Thank you for using Global Telink. Hey. Hello. Yo, I, found, I finally got everything set up. It was a process. The computer was running slow. So how you doing today? Um, I'm doing okay. I mean, I'm hanging in there. Oh, so I got some good news. Um, my Montgomery County detainer got lifted. So, um, I am trying to get into a program. Tell me why. My luck, Eagleville is a mission. It's just shut down for a couple of weeks. So, so hopefully, I got court April 22nd. So hopefully... Um, they either send me home or they sh or I get a, another program. So they're like searching for a program, but I'm hoping they let me out. Let you out? Is that a good yeah. thing if they let you out? Yeah, I'll if they let me out, I'm, I'm gonna put myself into a program myself. If they can't do it for me, I'm gonna do it myself. Like I'm not playing around this time. Like I'm, I'm dead serious. Like it took me to get locked up to get sober, and I'm glad that I got sober. And like I really want to do this. Like I got a lot of stuff going on for me right now. And like you said, I got a lot of supporters, and I don't want to let anybody down. Like I mean, all summer long I've been saying I was gonna go to rehab. You know what I'm saying? Right. So like I want to stand on my word and like really just do what I gotta do this time understood you know i really i believe in you i know you can I do this you. there are a lot of haters out there thinking oh when you come back out you just saying that right now because you locked up but when you come back out you're gonna go back doing the same thing and i doubt it you know because everybody that's been supporting you all the comments let me see how many comments you have you got 326 comments Oh wow! Two days they got um 8.2k views, so what? yeah, just off your audio, a wow. lot of a lot of people, you know, sending you well, love. Thank you, thank you. I'm gonna read one for you. The train is passing. I know you don't miss that sound. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> the demon train. So this one is from I don't know how to say that name. They was like, don't give up, Maya. I'm not. And Trust another. me, I'm not. I'm not going to give up at all. Like, and the more that people hate and the more people that doubt, so all them haters out there who doubt the thing that I'm going to go out there and get high, mm -hmm. I just want to say F you because it's not going to happen. But trust and believe, and it's, it's y'all that motivate me. Trust and believe, it's y'all that get all the negative things to say about me that motivates me to stay clean. That's what's up. So, uh, how have you been, though? You know, the same old thing, just, you know, working on the channel. So another person <laughs> said, another person said, Maya, wish you the best. Tracy said, I wish you the very best, Maya. Can't wait to oh, see thank how, you, Tracy. she said, can't wait to see how healthy and beautiful you are yes, to be in I six months clean. Wait, so. Uh oh, Maya gonna come out <laughs> snack. <laughs> Bam is gonna see you. He's gonna be like, oh, I want my girl back. Right. Oh my God. I would. I just would. Matter of fact, I got something to say. I want to say to Bam, if you are listening, I just hope that you really do get yourself together. And like, I love you, and I hope that you are right and safe. That's all I gotta say. Awesome. That's all we could do. Wish people the best. So, what's the day? What's the day over there look like for you? What's the day over here look like for me? Uh huh. Well, for one, I got nothing but time on my hands. <laughs> so, but so we, I wake up at 6.30 every morning. Um, I read a little bit until about 7.30. That's when count clear. And when weekend, when breakfast is about to be served, I eat breakfast. Then I usually go back to sleep until about 12 o'clock. I eat lunch. And then I really just draw or read or do word searches, puzzles, or I play space. Okay, all right. Yeah, so that's why I had asked you mm -hmm. what I had asked you yesterday because I need something to keep my mind occupied. Right. So I'm definitely going to get these things sent out to you. But first, okay. I'm trying to make sure we don't send these things to you and then by the time they get there, you're not there no more. I know that when, uh, what I had asked you or whatever, it only takes a couple of days. A couple of days. Yeah. But I'm not, I'm not leaving no time soon for real, Ma. Like, I got court on the 22nd, but I'll be here at least until the middle of May. Middle of May, okay. But yeah, I definitely, definitely need that because it's, 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 it's boring over 
here. And it just comes, oh, guess what? And we have a dog on the unit. <laughs> wow, you guys got a dog. Yeah, his name is Macaroon. He only get, and he has his own PP number. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> right. That's cool. Yeah, so, yeah, so play with the dog, guys. Cause the, like, where we're at, we're, I'm at ASD. So it used to be, like, the cannery or something like that. I don't know. It's, they, the RCF got shut down. It's a men's jail now. Mm -hmm. So they got us over here, and they're, they're like, dorms. So there's no, no like, cells or nothing like that. They're just, it's like a big dorm. It's almost like a homeless shelter, pretty wow. much. So coming home, your game plan as far as, like, when you come home, are you going right. to have a stable place to be? So the deal with my parents is that I have, for one, I, my mom doesn't want me on methadone or nothing like that. She told me that I have to get back on the Vivitrol shot, which is fine with me because that's what works for me. It keeps me clean. Like methadone, the bus subs, all that, all that shit is just other stuff I'm getting high off of. Right. But I have to be on Vivitrol. Mm -hmm. I have to finish the program, and I have, I can always do jail, and I can always do the program, but I can never get past the halfway house. I always end up leaving. So... So I have to finish out the halfway house, and then I can move in with my parents, and hopefully, be, and my dad says, as long as I'm doing what I'm got to be doing, I can become his nurse and take over from my mom for a little bit and stack up money and get my own place. Oh, that's awesome. And you know, when you come out, everybody see, you know, you're doing what you say you, you're going to do. We got nothing but support for you. Make sure when you come out, man, you just like, you know, do the best you can. Fight hard because there's right. nothing in that life. You saw how you, you saw the life you was living. You know, you're a beautiful girl. You got potentials. Yeah. You got a lot of talent. And all that stuff was just, it was just taking everything away from you. It robbed right, you of I know, everything. I know. It, it, was, it was killing me. I was like the walking dead. Exactly. You know, unfortunately, hate to say it that way, but definitely. So, you but, know, I don't I'm know. really excited so, for you. That, I know you are, and I appreciate all the support. I appreciate you. But like, just these phone calls mean a lot. You know what I'm uh -huh. saying? Like, bail means a lot. Like, letters from people means a lot. Like, like those things in here mean so much to, to us people in here. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh -huh. it's just, it's the small things that you take for granted. You know what I mean? When you're out there that you, that you miss while you're in here. Got you. So now I want you, I want you to let the people You have one minute remaining. Oh, uh, we only got one minute, but yeah, so, you know, tomorrow, call me tomorrow at like 4.30. I'll okay. be expecting your call. So we can talk, tell the people what they need to do as far as sending you things, because I know if you're sending somebody books, it got to come straight. Yeah, it's it got to so, come either straight from like Amazon. It got to come straight from the store. In the store, okay, so that way we won't have people sending you things from their house and stuff. And they, no, and they can't, they, they gotta return. come in, they can order me stuff offline and send it to me then. Or they can, if they want to put you know a few dollars on my books, they can do it offline or they can come down here and do it themselves. You so, know, like that. if they put money on your books, you promise you ain't gonna buy no drugs in there because that's what I'm not buying drugs now. You know, people got a lot of fear if they send you money, you might, you know, buy drugs in there with, oh, with there's, the money. There's, there's no drugs to buy. Because like, <laughs> I know jail, like, you know. Thing, it is. I had things, I'm on Suboxone, so okay. like, there's no drugs for me to buy. You know what I'm saying? Thank you for using Global Tell Link. Okay, guys. We'll continue this conversation tomorrow. Peace out.